Holy smokes. So much happened so fast. You can tell that we're definitely nearing the end of the off season with just the amount of news that we have. Where to even start? How about Vegas? I feel like no good idea ever starts in Vegas. It looks like Vegas may be getting two pro teams. Who knew the NHL was such a trendsetter? So everyone is apparently filing trademarks for team names in Vegas. The Las Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas Desert Knights. Yeah, let's talk about that. The Las Vegas Desert Knights. While the Las Vegas Knights name was never really my favorite, I understood why owner Bill Foley wanted it. And it kind of made me okay with the name. But the Las Vegas Desert Knights? Let that sink in. Desert Knights. Yeah, Crusaders is better. Come on, Bill. There are so many other great names that you could put there. I mean, even some of the joke names I've heard are better than the Desert Knights. Las Vegas Outlaws, Las Vegas Rat Pack, Las Vegas Dealers, Las Vegas Sin. Come on, even Las Vegas Strippers. Now, I know that this name is not set in stone, but given his attachment to keeping the Knights portion of the name, seems like this one is the most believable as the new name. And I think we all agree that it's not really the best name. Boo. Second, let's talk about what everyone is freaking out about. Ah, my family thinks I'm crazy. Can the NHL succeed with an NFL team there? Well, why don't we ask every other city that it's happened in? Or every other city that has three or four teams. Now I know people's concerns are just that it will be hard to establish hockey there in general. And yes, an NFL team there may make it a little more difficult. But if done correctly, there is no reason why the team can't be successful. Look at other markets like Nashville or Tampa. It can be done, people. Give hockey a little more credit. In other hockey news, Newly appointed captains are everywhere. The Blues officially named Petrangelo as team captain, along with three new assistant captains, giving them four total assistant captains. And Team Finland and Team Canada named their team captains for the World Cup of Hockey, Miku Koivu for Finland, and Sidney Crosby for Canada. Earth-shattering and groundbreaking news, I know. And just a reminder for how stacked Team Canada is, their assistant captains are Jonathan Tays and Shea Weber. Yup. Shea Weber. Give one point to Team Montreal won the trade for that one. All that is left now is Team North America and Team Europe. Crap, what? And, and Team Russia. I keep forgetting Russia for some reason. This week we've also learned that the Wild have changed their goal song to Prince's Let's Go Crazy. And I get why they changed it. It makes sense locally. Prince from Minnesota, state of hockey. But this whole Prince stuff confuses me. I had no idea that everyone was apparently a Prince fan. I'm calling you on your crap because I never heard anybody talk about that they love Prince before. But the song and the goal change, I'm totally fine with. It makes sense. But the change also brought to light that some teams do goal songs differently. Some do it one song for the entire team, and some do goal songs to specific players. While the one to specific players may seem very unhockey like with the emphasis in hockey always being the team above the player, I don't actually hate this. If you've ever watched baseball, they always have an at-bat song, so each player gets their own at-bat song, and so as a fan of it, I'm kind of used to that. The main difference is that each player always gets an at-bat, and not every player would consistently score, so this might get a little messy, and I changed my mind on this. This is gonna be complicated. So dear teams, please just do something that is locally relevant, and you probably can't go wrong. Manitoba had an interesting week. Two hockey-related incidences happened in Manitoba, one in Russell and one in St. Anne. So not really close to each other at all, but still in the same province. But apparently, one guy robbed a beer vendor in full goalie gear, and another guy was apparently impaired while driving a Zamboni. What are you doing in Manitoba? Most Canadian headline ever. I have so many questions. If you can afford goalie gear, why are you having to steal beer? Were you wearing skates too? I mean, it didn't say if you were or weren't wearing skates, so were you walking in your skates? Was this before or after a game? Were you even playing? Or was your plan all along just to show up in full goalie gear and rob a beer vendor? Did you lose a bet? Is that why you were doing this? 
Keep up the good work, Canada. And it looks like the Pens are trying to dethrone the Columbus Blue Jackets for who is best at Twitter. In case you missed it, the Penguins trolled the crap out of the Senators and made fun of the fact that they haven't won a Stanley Cup in recent history. <laughs> well done, Pittsburgh. Well done. And that's a wrap on this week's Off the Ice. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on all of these topics. You know, Vegas, World Cup of Hockey, goal songs, Canadian headlines. And until next week, guys, bye!